Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought I would film a amputee Q&A for you. Um, I do get asked quite a lot of questions from people um, just wanting to know certain things and I am an open book so anybody can ask me anything. I'd, I always say I'd rather somebody always asks me a question then sit there and wonder and stare or anything like that so um i also put it on my insta stories as well so i've got a few questions from the people that messaged me on there um so yeah but if there's any other things that you want to know just message me below and i'll hopefully i can answer everything for you as well so yeah let's get started okay so first question how long have you been an amputee for um i have been an amputee since August 2013 um, and that was five years ago five years ago didn't seem like five minutes ago that this happened so <laughs> I can't believe five years has gone by so quick um, but yeah five years uh, how old were you when you lost your leg I um, had not long turned 24 so um, very young I'm 29 now now I get asked this quite a lot and it's what do you miss most about having two legs? Um, I feel like this needs a separate video in itself. <laughs> um, I mean, everything. It's not, it's hard to adjust to, um, for one. So, I mean, I have something to compare it to. I had 24 years with a leg um, and a lot of people that are born without limbs will say, you know, they don't really know any different. Um, so they kind of just get on with um, prosthetics, but um, yeah, I feel like just everything really, just the ease of everything. I'll tell you one thing I do miss, and that's kicking my socks off in the middle of the night if I get too hot. It's not the same when you have to reach down. It's just not. <laughs> and this one as well, how do you cope? Now, I always say to people when they do ask me this, um, because sometimes they're in a little bit of awe, like how, they, they don't understand how not how well I'm getting on but just because I just kind of adjusted and just kind of get on got on with everything um and there is obviously certain days where I don't cope as well as others especially if I'm in pain or um maybe I've got sores and I can't wear my prosthetic um yeah all, all that comes into factor but I think definitely I always say this surrounding myself with the best people um you know, my family and friends and obviously my husband are more than supportive and um but also I think you have to be that one of that type of person that kind of just gets on with things and I wouldn't say I'm um what's the word like can just deal with change all the time but I feel like in my experience I just had to and I just had to get on with things or I, I mean I don't really know what else people do when when they don't um but yeah I just kind of just got on with it and I don't I kind of took to it like a duck to water to be quite honest and um yeah I haven't really looked back since <laughs> um why do you show your metal leg now so this is the leg that I choose to sport <laughs> um and I mean I show it for a number of reasons really it's not um it's not the fact that I want attention to, for people to stare at me because I've got a metal leg or anything, obviously a prosthetic leg. Um, I, I show it because I want to. Um, I'm proud to be an amputee. Uh, but And the comfort, it comes from a comfort issue as well because this is the first leg, I'll show you the first ever leg that I had. And I did have it metal for a while, um, but I kind of got a little bit insecure I felt like people were staring staring at me an awful lot when I first was an amputee. Um, so my prosthetist, they covered it for me in this off the shelf skin. Honestly, if you could feel the weight of this, I can't even believe I walked around in this. It's so heavy. Um, I actually went on holidays with this and everything. I look back now and I think, oh my God, I just was sweating constantly. Um, but yeah so this is this is what you would wear otherwise honestly it's so so heavy um but yeah and also as well people are more patient with you i i have my knee joint so if you if you didn't know i was an amputee you, you 
to, to look at you wouldn't know because I walk quite seamless so if I had like long trousers on or um if I was wearing that I, I disguised it very well when I wanted to but um yeah other than that you wouldn't know but people are more patient with me and especially parking in a disabled space um honestly that's a whole nother video in itself as well I could tell you some stories about that um <laughs> how rude people are to me anyway but when I get out the car obviously people are staring at me for pulling up in a space even though I've got a valid blue badge in on my dash um yeah I would get out and then they would feel embarrassed but then I would then feel bad I don't it's just such a weird 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 thing but I, I get judged quite a lot for looking young um yeah even though I am 29 so I'm not that young but um yeah it's just I feel like people are more patient but yeah I just want to show it that's it <laughs> do you suffer with phantom pain um yes I do it's annoying awful a pain in itself it's um highly uncomfortable uh I don't get on as much as I used to but when you are when you are a new amputee oh my gosh it's just such an awful pain basically if, if for people that don't know what phantom pains are I think I can explain this quite okay if not I'm sorry if not I'll link something below um to explain it but I, I've heard it's basically signals from your brain still thinking that there is a limb where it used to be um and it sends signals down there it's like if you stub your toe you it's almost like your brain tells your body that a part of you is hurt or something like that and it basically sends signals into the wrong place and it causes an awful lot of pain because you you can't really do anything about it and it's not like you've got an itch and you can you can you can scratch it or anything like that you you can't it's really really frustrating um and it's yeah it is quite painful so i don't get them as much as i used to but when i do get them they are really bad what do you think of devotees um now for people that don't know what devotees are they are people that are attracted to people with amputations I mean I don't really know what to kind of think of, of them they're not as long as nobody's getting hurt by it or um you know because it's messing with people's feelings are you with that person for the right reason are you with them just because they're an amputee I don't know if I would settle that well because you don't know if they like you for you you just their fetish I don't I don't know I mean I've had messages from them for sure asking to see my stump but i do not like that word i think it's i don't know if for everybody else but it sounds really horrible to me so i just i just call it my amputated leg <laughs> i don't i don't call it anything if i say to my mum like oh my legs hurt and she's like oh which one i'm i always just say oh you know my amputated one i don't say my stump it's a really horrible word um but yeah, so I don't, I don't really have an opinion on them. I mean, there's loads of people out there with, I wouldn't say weird fet. Well, is it a weird fetish? I don't know. I don't know. But there, obviously, there's people out there that really like that thing. But there's a lot of people out there that like things. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I've had messages from them. I don't entertain them. I, I mean, I think I had, I had this one person message me and I. I genuinely thought they were like a genuine person going through an amputation and I remember they messaged me how upset they were about being an amputee and I, I was giving them genuine advice and felt bad for the person and then I remember clicking on their profile like maybe a month later they hadn't had an amputation they they were basically just wanting to know what I thought about amputations and um wanting to see mine and I thought is this a bit weird and then I clocked on to so you do have to be careful especially other amputees out there just be careful who you're speaking to um don't just fall for people's stories all the time because yeah it, it, definitely in that instance like I, I genuinely thought this person was you know upset and I wouldn't want to leave anybody um you know, ignore anybody that you know messages like that but now I'm so cautious when people message and things like that I just to be honest I don't really respond anymore but yeah but that's it 
<laughs> do you sleep in your prosthetic no i don't um it's very uncomfortable when you lie down i remember going for a massage once and i left my prosthetic on oh my god it felt like i had like pins and needles like my the circulation for my blood wasn't going in the right place and yeah it was just really really uncomfortable so i really i don't wear it and i don't think a lot of people do not unless you're going for a little nap on the sofa and you know you just forget to take it off but no i don't wear it to bed how many hours a day do you wear your prosthetic well if i'm having a really good day i can wear my prosthetic all day um but if i'm sat down or anything like that i just i just pop it off just to release it and um, we've had some really hot weather here so um i've struggled a little bit in terms of because it's um in like a rubber sock that holds my prosthetic on so it it gets really really hot um but yeah it's been a little bit uncomfortable in that sense but yeah if i've not got sores or anything like that i can wear it most of the day what aids do you use um I, d I don't use hardly any anymore i used to have a well i do still have a wheelchair just in case things do get quite bad um but i used to have a wheelchair when i first became an amputee then i upgraded to a uh, walker <laughs> upgraded to basically like a zimmer zimmer frame so i upgraded to that and then it went to crutches i was on crutches and then that's it then my leg um but if i do need to use anything i would just use crutches even though sometimes it's really hard on my arms but because you i don't wear i don't use them on a regular basis so when you use them it's like you use them it's like wearing a new pair of shoes you've got to break them in but yeah your arms and your hands everything hurt because if you're just i don't know if you're just um i don't really know how to explain it i can't explain it it's fine but it hurts anyway using them <laughs> um but yeah i would just use crutches did pregnancy affect your leg when i first found out i was pregnant um about maybe i found out when i was just over six weeks pregnant and i think it got to about was it seven weeks i had a really really bad case of phantom pain it was really really painful i couldn't take any of my medication obviously um and i only take naproxen anyway to help with my nerve pain which helps really well when i can take it but um i don't take it anymore because i'm breastfeeding so um but when i yeah when i first found out i was pregnant i had yeah i was in really bad pain with phantom pain um and then the only other issue i had was swelling and that was the last I would say two weeks of my pregnancy i just it was just i just had fluid everywhere it i was so swollen and i couldn't like because how i put my leg on it it's i've got a pin system um liner so it clicks in and it clicks in straight the way but this was like click click like because of my leg was so swollen um but that ooh, that is really the only thing um i had issues with i was quite surprised obviously i've never been pregnant before um so yeah but other than that i was fine i was completely fine um yeah did you have to give birth in a different way um no i didn't i was fine i thought i would deal with a lot of nerve pain during uh labor but i didn't i think because it was just so focused on pushing the baby out um <laughs> i just forgot about that um but no i, I didn't have uh, any issues giving birth yeah but i did think i would and the doctors knew that um sorry the midwives knew that so they knew that if things did get bad i wanted an epidural i didn't have an epidural in the end but if you want like a birth story i know people do birth story videos if you want a birth story video just comment below and i will film that for you next if you want <laughs> it's uh it was quite eventful but yeah um so no just in the regular way just like everybody else does being an amputee affect uh, motherhood um as of now i've found everything being a mum quite simple my leg hasn't affected me in any way um other than if i have to get up in the night to get something for her then i have to clip my leg back on and um but that's it i haven't really found anything as of yet i mean my baby's only nine weeks old 
I'm sure there might be some things along the way. Maybe when she gets a little bit older, um, and you know, I can't do everything, but that's, you know, sh she's got a dad for doing all them bits that I can't really do. Um, but if not, I'll just get different different legs to, to fit in with whatever she wanted to do. But no, other than that, I think everything's been fine up until now. Okay, and the last question is, um, would you design a leg? Um, and yes, I would love to design a leg. I did design my wedding leg, which looks like this. Uh, there's, a, there's a few missing because I dropped it. But um, yeah, so this is rose gold Swarovski crystals and then the piping is gold. And then I, to be fair, it was, um, I was inspired by the shoe. So I got the shoes first. So they're Christian Louboutin, like gold, don't even know what this fabric is. It, they, they're, they're sparkly, but it is a fabric. Um, so as soon as I had the shoes, I wanted to design it around the shoe. And that's what I did. So I did design this leg for my wedding. Um, but there is a company called the Alternative Limb Project. I will link their page below because they are absolutely fantastic with what they do. Um, and I would love a leg from them. Um, I'd love to design the whole thing. I think I've got it how I would want it. Um, but yeah, but watch this space. I'll have a leg by them one day. <laughs> Hopefully next year. Um, and I want a blade. Um, I, yeah, I just want all different legs to be quite honest. But yeah, I hope that's kind of um, answered any of your questions. Um, like I said, if there's any other other questions that you want answering that you think that I've missed, please comment below and hopefully I can answer them for you. Um, and like I said, every amputee is different. So um, yeah, maybe I might have answered these questions differently to other people, but this is just my experience. Um, but I hope that you've liked this video uh, and yeah, like I said, any questions, please comment below and hopefully I can get back to you. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.